Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in today's video we're gonna play some Clash of Codes with other coders. So let's get started. So first of all I went to uh, coding game slash music player uh, clash clash of code which allow us to play some clash of codes which are code battles with other coders around the world. So let's join a clash. Right, so the clash starts in 1 minute and 40 seconds. So let's wait. So here are the other coders that will compete with us. Rav Tisavan, it's. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce these names. Right, so wait for it. Alright, so let's start now. It's the reverse mode. I don't know why they started with the reverse mode, but let's go with it. So the reverse mode is we have the inputs and we have the outputs and we should guess what are like um, the operation that we made on this input to get this output. Uh, we don't have a statement like other clash of codes. So let's get started. So we have the game mode is reverse. You do not have access to, to the statement. You have to guess what to do by observing the following set of tests. So for the first test, the input is what's a very short string and then a and we have wa at so actually i guess that is splitting it um uh, by this le second letter right so the test to well this is a longer string but it's a it should still be easy to solve all right so it is actually splitting it on the r by it's adding it to the end of uh, the string. Alright, so let's see here. I think it's the same thing. Alright, so let's start. So, actually, if you see here, the first uh, input here, which is S, is a string, and then R, it's what we're splitting it into. So, let's get started. So, first of all, when we have the S, we're gonna S is equal to S dot splits and then we're gonna split this by R and then for I and S we're gonna print I plus R so let's run the test cases All right so what's all right so It's actually not that easy. So, in some cases, like you, uh, you see here, it actually starts with an A, right? So, Tessa Vander have or has already done this. All right, so we're gonna do an F statement. If all right, so let's look through a range for I in range and then uh, length of this s here right so if i is equal to range all uh, right so let's equal to length of s minus one then we're gonna print this else and lf so we're not print R plus I LF I is equal to zero we're gonna print I plus R and then else we're gonna just we're gonna print it we're gonna print R plus I plus R so let's run the test cases Right, so only mistake here is that we're not gonna print i's actually we're gonna print s with an index of i it was a mistake and then other time s and then index of 
I ran out of time here is and then of the index of I. So let's run the test cases. Right, so we're gonna go, we're going good. Oh, we submitted, and we're at the third place actually. That was a that was a good game, All right? So there are ten minutes left. All right, so let's view let's view the code of the first one. Actually, the the same thing. All uh, right, uh, it's actually using the enumerates. Mm, great one. We're actually we use the range. Right, so that was great. Let's view the second code. Right, so let's view the second code. What? That was great, actually. Right, actually, that was great one. Alright, so let's leave our feedback. That was fun. Uh, the difficulty, it was easy actually. The test case relevancy, they were ideal. Alright, so that was a great clash of code. Some exclamation marks. Now let's actually right now let's have actually another clash of code. Right, let's join a clash. Right, so we're gonna start right now actually. All right, let's start. Right now we have a Siemens and we should. So finish the first, alright. This is the fastest. Ben and Tom sent messages to you describing the temperature in their respective countries. Ben lives in the USA, Tom lives in the UK. Ben uses Fahrenheit, and then Tom is using Celsius. Alright, Ben and Tom will send you their inputs as one integer each B and T separated by a space. There will be n such lines of inputs. Alright. Right. For each line, I'll put uh, the string higher if Ben's temperature is higher than Tom's. Alright, so the first one is higher. And I'll put the string lower if Ben's temperature is lower than Tom's. If the temperature are the same, I'll put the string same. Alright. Conversion from C Celsius to Fahrenheit follows the formula C. Alright, here's the formula, we're gonna use it. Inputs, alright, so he's using JavaScript. Alright, so for BT, alright, so the N is the input, is the number of lines, alright, so for, alright, BT is equal, alright, F, alright, so uh, Ben is using what? Actually, Ben. Alright, Ben uses Fahrenheit. Alright, so T, we're gonna convert to Fahrenheit also, is equal to T uh, multiplied by 9, divided by, divide by 5, and then plus 32. Alright, so let's add some parentheses here, so do not mess it up. Alright, and then we're gonna compare. F Siemens, yeah. F. Sorry, I forgot. F B is higher than T. Then print higher. L of B is. Uh, Is lower than T, we're gonna print lower, right? And else, 
yeah, it's it's same it's same as if they're the same. Then we're gonna print same. So let's run the test cases. Right, so it submits. Alright, so that was actually the first one. Alright. Right. I think we were just for. Alright, so I'm waiting for them to view the code. Alright, I don't wanna wait for them. Let's play again. Alright, so the clash starts in 1 minute and 10 seconds. Actually, some great profile pictures here. Alright, so let's wait. Alright, so the clash starts in 1 second. Alright, so let's start. So we have also another time the reverse mode. Of course, we're gonna code in Python. We can actually code in whatever language we want. We have tons of them, but I prefer Python. Alright, so the game mode is reverse, alright? So the test one inputs bono bo, and then the explicit output is bono bo. Actually, I don't know. Lizard is equal to lizard. Gorilla is equal to gorilla. And then Abakangaru. That's actually confusing a little bit. Right, so that's actually confusing. I think that's something with consonants and vowels. Let's see. But there's this O here. It doesn't change. A few moments later. Alright, so we have Bonobo, we have Bonobo, alright, so... So O is actually repeated three times. But here, O is repeated just twice. Alright, and B, what about B? We have one, and then two, one, and then two here. Alright, so let's have the gorilla keys. We have here G, S, all fine because they are not repeated. But we have L here. L is actually repeated at this point one time. Alright, so I think I know what's happening here. Actually, the letter will be repeated the same number of uh, actual repetition times before us. So here, the se the first L, here it's repeated just once, in the Gorel, there's just one L. So we print one L here, but in the second place, we have the L here. The L here is actually repeated twice in this slice here. I hope you know what I mean. So we print it twice. So actually, the, uh, right, so I know, I think it's the same here. Alright, so let's start, right. So, frying range. Right, uh, so let's use the enumerates. For I N in enumerate. X, X, uh, right, 10 minutes left, right. Alright, so C++, very good. Let's give Python a chance. Alright, so um, we're gonna put here a Y, which stands for this uh, the thing that we're gonna submit, actually. I'm gonna print, we're gonna append to it. Alright, so um, Y do append, then we're gonna append to it the character which is in multiplied by the times of repeated here until this point so we have um, the x dot count we're gonna count the number of n's but we're not gonna count at all x we're got just gonna um, count at the first i I know that's a little bit confusing, yeah. 
So JavaScript and other time creates Mario. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna slice it into pieces. So let's do I here. All right, so. All right, so and then we're gonna print Y. So let's run the cases. All right, so. Oh, sorry, the string has no attributes at the end. Right, so let's run this now. Oh, boy. What the fuck? Uh, all right, so I don't know why. All right, so here at the first place, we're actually, let's add the one here. So let's run the cases, but it will be wrong at some point. All right, so let's submit. All right, so we're at the fifth place. Uh, great. All right, here we are, another Python here. Let's see. All right, that's use collections. All right, great. Use it some modules here. We we'll have T. Of text. That's just a little bit complicated actually. I don't know. Let's view the JavaScript here. Right, so we have the read line here, which reads the line as input. And we have a consonant, which is an object here. Yeah, that's JavaScript. Yeah. That's not Python. We have s is equal to right, uh, an empty string and he's looping throughout. Uh, right. So, uh, and he's looping throughout his x dot length, cons t, x dot char at right. Right, that's great. Uh, but it's, I think, it's the same concepts. So, guys, that was the video. If you enjoyed it, uh, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and see you in the next video.